How's it going everyone? Um, so in this video, I am gonna talk about how to bulk up for skinny guys, um, some exercises. So before I get started, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, I do appreciate the support, helps my channel grow. Um, please follow me on Instagram, dillinburg999. So the exercises that I'm going to recommend, I'm gonna recommend some exercises um, and I'm also gonna give you guys some tips for bulking up. So the key for bulking up for skinny guys is attacking the, the big compound movements, the basic movements, and doing variations of those basic movements. Now, the basic movements are the squat, the bench press, and the deadlift. I guarantee you, if you make that majority of your training and doing variations of those movements, you're going to get extremely big, extremely fast. The reason being, Take the basic deadlift, for example. It's one exercise. Your deadlift is going to work your hamstrings, your glutes, your lower back, your upper back, your traps, your biceps, basically your whole entire body. Now, if you were not doing that exercise to hit all those muscle groups that I just told you, you're gonna have to do, say, a hamstring curl. You're gonna have to do some pull-ups. You're gonna have to do some barbell shrugs, some barbell curls. Uh, glued ham raise. So you're gonna have to do five or six exercises to literally hit exactly what that one exercise did. So you get way more bang for your buck. That's why I get very, very confused with beginners that wanna do so many isolation exercises. It's like you guys are wasting your time. And on top of that, these big, big movements such as deadlift, you can add five or 10 pounds of workout when you're first starting off. You can start off deadlifting 135, then the next workout do 145, 155, 165. You can get to a 315 pound deadlift pretty quickly and then 405 isn't that hard either. So <clears throat> the best exercises are the compound movements, basic big compound movements. And that's what I always stressed. I always stress doing those and variations. So when, when I mean variations, instead of doing a flat barbell bench, I would do an incline barbell bench. Instead of doing a regular deadlift, I would do a stiff-legged deadlift, or my favorite, a Romanian deadlift. I love doing Romanian deadlifts. A Romanian deadlift is when you start um, basically in the up position. So you would start with the barbell on top of like some, some pins or on top of a rack, and then you would take the barbell out while standing up, and then you would do a reverse deadlift, kind of like that. So I'd love doing that for squats. Instead of doing a, a high bar back squat, you would do a front squat. So I, 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 I did a lot of front squats, you guys, and that's why my quads are so big, and that's why my squat, I've squatted uh, above 480. I think that was my best squat. Um, so that's what I recommend you guys, literally big compound movements. That's how you're going to see the fastest um, gain. That's how you're going to bulk up the fastest because I see so many times beginners wasting their time doing all these isolation exercises. And when they're doing the isolation exercises, they're not doing very much weight. Like when people are doing, for example, overhead extensions, they might be doing like a 10 pound overhead extension going like this. I do overhead extensions, but I do 60 pounds per dumbbell. I do isolation exercises because I can, because I've been doing it for 13 years and I'm advanced. When you get super advanced, that's when you need the isolation exercises to really fill in um, those weak areas. So that's what I recommend to do. End of video. Thank you so much for watching.